What? <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Um, these flower pots, 29. This one is smaller than that one because the clown likes to play in it. Like the clown, even though it has an enemy back there, the clown loves to play in that flower pot. For what reason? I don't know. And it's not a small clown. The clown's not even out right now. The maroon clown? Yeah. The maroon clown is... Uh, what are you feeding your uh, your fish? So, I still got my original regiment. For oh, original. yeah, yeah, that big ass. But, I'll give him a pinch. Now, I'll pinch this in to make that maroon come out. All right. Give him a pinch of this uh, prime reflex. And not much. Just enough. Where they can sense this in the water. There he is. Oh yeah, huge. That's like uh, Tim's fish. Tim has some big ass fish. Yeah, I saw some super huge green chromis on the west side while I was out at Saudi Finn because I wanted to redo my calcora so it's all new calcora I threw the old stuff out because I didn't trust it believe it or not I hit high nitrates but not high nitrates high ammonia when I start this tank oh my god all the die off yeah it was it was off the charts and I was like yeah I'm gonna everything's gonna die there was no fish except for well actually there was no fish in here it was just coral hey is that a stylo yes hey man you're gonna have to hook me up that gets bigger I got purple stylo I could get you but I've been trying to get some green stylo see when it gets bigger I have a frog of it see it's at the very top. Yeah, when it gets bigger. No, I, I already broke it. Well, I didn't break it. Wife broke it. <laughs> but I can't be mad at it because, I mean, she didn't realize how sensitive SPS really was. If you're going to frag it, you can get a frag of that. Oh, that's sweet. Because it's already broken. I just threw it at the top because, I, hey, it's cool and I don't want cool to die. So I just throw it at the top. Just Close. I'll give a full tank. Your tank is legit. I'm glad you're back up and still think you're crazy, but 300 is really, really nice. Yeah, I looked at all the responses, like, I'm not gonna lie, I looked at that video of the destruction video and I looked at all the responses and I was just like, they motivated me. They motivated me. It was like, hey, I hope he gets up. And I'm like, you know what? I'll do it. It's good. I'll, I'll come back up. Like, insurance paid off the other damage to, hey, let's jumpstart this route. Let's give him something else to go for. Because, I mean, I sit in front of my tank a lot. Yep. That's why I say, do you even reef, bro? I mean, you're for sure, you're down, you're, you're reef, hardcore. You're like hardcore for reals. You got like, bounce, bounce back up. It's awesome. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of work. Oh, my God. I felt bad. Terrible work. As soon as I left here, I was I was calling Paul. I was like, holy shit, man, this this and this happened. It's crazy. I'm glad you're back up. And I like the 300. I like the. I love the 400, but this 300, you did an excellent job. It's compact. You know, it's not like. This is a six foot tank. It's not a compact. Seven. <laughs> Seven foot tank. I would love to get a six. It's, it's smaller than the 400. Like the 400 took up a lot of space. Now I can actually sit in the kitchen and call my wife and she's sitting on the couch. Uh -huh. Hey, you need anything? Before it was like this big, massive wall. And once we took everything about that tank out, it was like, wow, there's so much space in here now. 
And this one, I don't know, this little spot just fits it perfectly. Yeah, it's really, really sweet, man. So, let me ask you, are you going to get more fit? Besides the flamingi, are you going to... Are you happy with the, your your fish, or are you going to try to get more? Or? So the last fish to go in here will be a Soho tank. The Soho tank will be in here on Christmas. Nice. That is my Christmas present to my roof, is a Soho tank. And that would be the last fish to go in. As far as coral, coral is ever growing. I, after this video, I'm about to go look at more coral. Yeah. So I'm going to have to think about, OK, placement of these particular coral because mainly what I'm going out there is SPS. I love SPS. I love the look of SPS. Even though LPS moves, SPS just catches my eye. But I mean all in all, like I said it's that ever growing hobby and you're just gonna keep evolving. You're just gonna keep getting more and more and more to the point where you're not gonna be able to see any of this. Like right now I'm looking at where I can maneuver more core to make more room. Probably not this side, probably more that side because that side has the heavier light. This side is mainly salties. A few it. pieces of SPS, but mainly salties. Easy to care for SPS is on this side and everything high demand is on that side. Awesome. Well, I'll just cut this video here. Shout out to you. All you people, and thanks, D. This is a fucking badass reef, man. <laughs> and especially in a shorter, short amount of time. This shows that you know anybody can do it. Like, I might start up a, re a YouTube channel, and I might just take you should uh, suggestions and questions or anything that anybody that has a problem. Hey, I have this problem with my reef. What should I do? Okay. This is the reason why you're having this problem, and here's the solution to fix it. So, that's awesome, man. I just want to help people because I know a lot of people that set up reef tanks, and you know, I'm not going to say I'm the most knowledge person ever because I'm not. I mean, reefing is an ever learning thing, but I have learned a lot in order to combat any kind of situation that I should run into I already know the solution and I know I already know what to look out for okay so is not opening let me first check my magnesium before I check any other parameter okay magnesium is good now let me check all my other parameters apex is gonna alert me if temperature gets too high pH gets too low uh, salinity gets too low it's gonna alert me it's gonna let me know and I'm already gonna know that those are good so I have to go for the known elements, which you have to use a tester to check for. Other than that, I mean, I want everybody's reef to be something that they put in their house and they're just like, okay, I'm so proud of this. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, when I first set this up, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a perfectionist and I was just like, eh, you know, I could do better. I mean, even now I'm like, eh, yeah, it's great, but I can always get better. I want people to actually be proud of the money that they spend because this stuff is not cheap. No. And if I wanted to put an estimate on how much I kicked into this tank in the last well total to set this whole tank back up, I'm right at about three grand. Yeah. <laughs> and that's me getting discounts galore. I'm at right at about three grand. But for reefers, it's not about the money. It's really not. I mean, I'm gonna always make money. Yeah. The money will come back, Trifle. But the reef, it won't come back. Like I'm missing my flamingo tanks. They're they're not coming back. I still got the picture of my old reef on my phone with my flamingo <laughs> tank, yeah. looking at them as my background. And I use that as an example. Like, hey, you know, nothing lasts forever. Enjoy it while you can. It's awesome.
a chalice gets bigger, I want a frag of it. Yeah. Mine completely died. It, it tr it's turning different colors, man. It's turning like pink. It's turning pink? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Nice. I'll wait till it gets a little bit bigger and just shoot me a frag of it. I'll be crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll start that back up. Yep.